Omaheke teaches to remain on strike until demand is met. Teachers from both primary and secondary schools, joined by the Nanto regional representatives, gathered in town demanding for the 8% increment from government. The strike is indefinite. The end period will not be determined by us. If the demands are not met, we will continue to stay out of the classes until our demands are met. The Directorate of Education in the region further commented that the time given to them to solve the issue was not we sufficient. Sort of anticipated that uh, there, there will be a strike coming. Uh, I think the, the, the notice was too short, mm -hmm. and that is why we took this matter to the Labour Court also. Uh, to put all systems in place in terms of the strike and so on, we needed more time. But uh, what has transpired now is also that they are following what the union is, is, is telling them and, and what the law is, is prescribing to them. Which means in terms of children, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry for the children. Uh, I think all of us are sorry, the teachers, ourselves in government, and, and all of us are sorry for the children. But unfortunately, this is a situation that uh, has unfolded in this way mm -hmm. and I hope the uh, a solution will come very soon to this situation. Some of us has our study timetable already planned. Of course we are supposed to write math today, it's not really good. And then now we have to wait and figure out, wait until the people decide when we write math, it's not good. The government must give 8% so that the teachers come. Come back to school. All this strife for teachers uh, discouraged me since I was prepared to write my exam today. And when I had the news last night, I even lost hope of studying. Gave in their complaints, and the government was fully aware that the teachers they are going to, to be on strike. But they didn't. But the government didn't do anything about it until the last minute. Now that we are, that we have to withdraw from our exams. Yeah. The two-day holiday that started the 13th to the 14th of October came suddenly that some parent had not made necessary arrangement to collect children from school, and therefore a number of children were seen stranded at school and around town. For MICT Omaheke, reporting for NBC, Matilda Kulo, Kobabes.